pretty complicated city. There are several different beliefs, opinions, cultures, and lifestyles. But I think there's one thing that we can all agree on, and that is that the food is incredible. This morning we are back in the old city and we are making our way to the Muslim Quarter for our first stop. We have a list of 10 to 15 places that we've been given by locals and travelers of all the best places to check out in the city. not supposed to be our first stop, but I don't know how you walk past this without getting some. Thank you. Since we've been in Israel, we've pretty much made it our personal goal to find the best hummus in this country, but we haven't seen anything that looks like this. It is just swimming in olive oil, and then he took this giant spoon of fool, which is like beans, poured it on top. Then there's hummus, of course, some chickpeas, lemon garlic sauce, parsley, and tahini. I'm gonna mix it all together and take a big old bite. Oh wow, here we go. First food of the day. Mm. <laughs> Do I even need to say how delicious this is? All of these flavors just blend together so well. But what I really love, besides how much olive oil there is, is the hot beans. Like it's just warmed the whole thing up so it's just this melty, savory perfection. Excellent start to the day. I don't even think we need a plan. I think we'll just wander around and see what looks good. Watch out, Cap. Motorcycle coming through. It's hard to say if that was the best hummus that we've had just because it was so different. You can't really compare the two. You really can't go wrong with any hummus. Treats are livening up. today's plan. This was the stop that I was looking forward to most. I have not been able to find Kanafa since we've been in Jordan and it's probably my favorite dessert in the entire world. They put down this super thick layer of cheese and then they bake semolina on top and then they just pour sugar water over the entire concoction. The savory and sweetness of the dish allow you to eat way more than you should. Like, you could probably never eat this much cheese by itself, and you could probably never have this much sugar water by itself, but together they kind of balance each other. Mmm, so good. We've heard this is by far the best place in the old town to get this. A day of eating in Jerusalem would not be complete without falafel. And this guy serves the best in the city. We actually ate here yesterday, so we're not gonna eat here again because we're saving stomach space. But we just had to include him in this video because he is so much fun and it is the best waffle ever. We're currently exiting the old city through the Damascus Gate and we are heading to East Jerusalem for our next stop. This is the first time we're actually leaving the old city, so we're super excited to see more of Jerusalem. Whew. It is a 35 minute walk uphill in the sunshine to our next destination. But I'm okay with it. It's burning calories, so we can eat more. Our next dish is a Jerusalem specialty and it's called the Jerusalem Mixed Grill. It includes chicken hearts, spleens, and liver mixed with bits of lamb cooked on a flat grill seasoned with onion, garlic, black pepper, cumin, turmeric, olive oil, and coriander. So it's basically a bunch of chicken parts. I don't think I've ever had chicken heart and liver before. I think the way you eat it is you stuff a pita bread with it and eat it like a sandwich. Here we go. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything. This looks like the liver and the heart. I don't know what a spleen looks like. Definitely get some onions in there. <laughs> There's a little bit of chewiness in there. My first impression is that it was very animal-y. <laughs> there was a bit of a like springy crunch in there that I didn't enjoy. 
the overall taste was okay. I got the liver. It was like very soft. The onions were a really nice touch. I don't know if I'm a huge fan. It wasn't all bad, but it wasn't all good. <laughs> this seems spleeny to me. What's a spleen? A spleen is an internal organ in most vertebrate animals. Similar in structure to a large lymph node, it acts primarily as a blood filter. Mm. <laughs> The rest of our stops are all going to be in and around the Mehain Yehuda Market, which is a big local market here in Jerusalem. And our next stop is for Shabish, which from what we've heard is one of the most popular street foods in the entire country. Everything? Wow. Everything. What is it USA. Well? Tennessee. Tennessee. Wow, you're, you're very fast. I don't know. Mishu, what's the pasta? I feel good. You're good. I am so impressed. You go, girl. This is a vegetarian sandwich. If you don't like meat, this is a great place to come. Which I'm getting more, I'm leaning more towards that way lately. So this is a pita stuffed with grilled eggplant, tahini, tons of veggies. She went so fast, I don't even know what's in here. But what makes this so cool is that instead of just putting everything in there one at a time and it kind of stacking up, she layered it. So she put like veggie sauce, veggie sauce. Great. Oh wow. This is a flavor explosion. This is amazing. This is called a sabich. It's like a sandwich. Did I say it wrong? Sabich? Is there cinnamon? What? Cinnamon? In the mango sauce? Okay, so I knew there was something in here that I had not had in Jerusalem yet. And it is a mango lemon sauce. Gives us this tartness, just kind of like, uh, makes everything just pop. So right across the street from the sandwich place is the Marzipan Bakery. And so many people told us we had to come here. The baked goods in Israel are extremely good, but we've heard that this place is the best. And their specialty is called, and it's basically the Israeli version of a croissant. Here they make them really small and they stuff them with chocolate. He told us here the reason that they're so special is because they use a lot of syrup. And like just picking it up, it starts to like melt between your fingers. Oh wow. Wow. And it's almost like a mixture between a chocolate croissant and baklava. It's like a chocolate croissant drenched in sugary water. I don't know if that's actually how they make it, but that's what it tastes like. This is worth coming to Jerusalem for. <laughs> if you don't eat anything else when you come to the city, come here and try this. It's incredible. We've officially made it inside the market and it is massive and beautiful. We are here to find a guy they call the medicine man. Had a little bit of a head cold recently. Who can say your nose? In my nose. Like this, like this. I thought I was getting juice, but. Ah. Oh, it's like eucalyptus. Cayenne pepper? Oh, so I told him I'd had a little bit of a head cold, and I thought he was going to recommend a juice for me, but instead he gave me some lotion to stick in my nose. <laughs> It's very small. Turmeric, ginger, and cayenne pepper. My nose is on fire right now. I stuck cayenne pepper in my nose. I'm very nervous about this. I just need to know if I take it as like a shot or if I point it. Do I take it like a shot? All at once. Two times. Two times. He has a smirk on his face. Oh, that burns. Oh. Oh. I have to wash it down. That was hard to drink. This is delicious. Everything in my head is burning right now. I think that's the plan. Just burn it all out. I can't wait for you to finally be healed. <laughs> I haven't sick for like a week. If I get better, this is the medicine man. man. I want one. I don't think this guy's like the original medicine man. His picture's on the sign, but I think he's doing a pretty good job. Cheers! You spilled your coffee! This also wasn't on our list of things to get today, but it was necessary. 
and delicious. Wow, I needed that coffee break. This place is right on the edge of the market, so it's a great place to sit and watch the world go by. And it has a sign that says Best Ice Coffee, so. You did it! Congratulations! World's best cup of coffee. Great job, everybody. Next up, we're having our first mala walk. It kind of feels like we're at the Israeli subway. Like, you choose your bread and then you choose all of your fillings. Apparently, this dish originated in Yemen and it was brought here by the Yemenite Jews. It smells amazing. Also, the people who work here are super fun and really impressive at making bread. Oh, that's so good. This is amazing. Super flaky with all of these beautiful layers, but like crispy on the outside where it's been pan fried and flipped into the air a bunch of times. And then it's filled with all of these beautiful vegetables and a hard boiled egg, olives, crispy eggplant, za'atar, which is like my favorite spice. Watch out, everyone. Israeli pastry called pureka. He told me that you can eat it any time of the day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. It's basically all of these super thin flaky layers of dough. This one's stuffed with cheese because he said that was his favorite and the most popular. And however he makes his, he said is less fat than the typical version of these, which I appreciate. We've seen these everywhere. They're super popular, but we've heard that this guy's is the best. And his name is Joseph and he's super nice. Moist, tender, juicy cheese on the inside. And he's located right on the corner on the outside of the market. It's a hard job being behind the camera watching her eat all the delicious things first. Mm. So we've heard that this market completely transforms at night. Apparently all the shops close and all the bars open up and it just turns into this big nightlife scene. So since we've been eating all day, we thought we'd take a little break. The shops aren't closing yet, but the bars are definitely filling up. So we're gonna relax, join the locals, and watch this place transform. <laughs> As we were leaving the market, we ran back into the guy who was selling us the cheesy Israeli pastry, and apparently he's a pretty good singer and just a cool guy. It was a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> there you go. Friends. We want to try to save a little room in our stomachs for the rest of the day, so we're eating the rest of this with a fork, which is totally acceptable here. In the U.S., I feel like hummus is mostly viewed as like an appetizer or a side dish, but here, it's your entree. You can eat it with whatever utensil you'd like. Fork, bread, pickle, raw onions, and I love it. There's a massive <laughs> knock on the camera. <laughs> Apparently Jerusalem has free Wi-Fi and free public bathrooms right here in the old city. Who would have thought? So our next few stops are all going to be in and around the Mehane, yeah, the, the famous market here in Jerusalem. This says the flavor of Jerusalem encourages good mood, positive vibes, and love to mankind. Gives you a fun high. <laughs> Helps menopause symptoms. Does it make me more beautiful, this? Woo! This is the main ingredient. This is got. Okay, this is straight up got. Very earthy. Like a bitter dirt. Really fresh at the same time. Ah, it comes from Yemen, apparently. Helps you remember forgotten things. It makes you strong and happy. And they make amazing malawak. Malawakas? Malawatches? I don't know what the plural version is. Oh, oh. What is that? That's what you have to say. Okay, yeah. Yes, but go there, it's better. Okay. 
I don't know why, but I have this thing for roads that are supposed to have cars. There's a tram coming. I lied, there are trams on this road. <laughs> Best and only. I promise you that. <laughs> Guaranteed. You or us? <laughs> you. Uh, what you're, very nice. you're, you're very nice. You're very nice. He hasn't even watched the video yet. <laughs> <laughs>